Hey guys, I am back and today I am wrapping up my series on me versus Caroline Gervin's Epic Endgame program. This is very exciting for me to say, but I am done. I have checked off every little box throughout the program. I just did the last um, workout, her day 50 strength and cardio day. It kicked my butt. It was very fun though. Um, I feel like I have a lot of thoughts about this program and about the way it builds and I'm going to get into all of those um, but if, before I do if you have missed my previous updates I went through and every two weeks reflected on the workouts that I did how I'm feeling how I feel like Caroline does um, in these programs I will link my previous uploads down below so that you can check them out and without further ado let's get into my last thoughts so um, I had just a little bit over two weeks left. I think I had one extra workouts from week seven uh, or week eight. Um, this week of workouts is very hit or miss. I had some of my favorite workouts of the year, or not of the year, but of the program. And then I had like my least favorite workout of the program. Um, I am never a fan of the push-ups and abs day. I hope one day that changes because I would like to get good enough at push-ups to where I can do like 20 minutes of push-up variations without hating everything. Um, right now is not that day. Um, the Bulgarian lunge day, I wasn't like, I didn't love it. Like I got a little bit bored, but um, it was definitely challenging and I was proud of myself that I worked through it and like did all of the lunges. It's how I wish I felt about the push-up day, if that makes sense. Like I was kind of bored, but um, I was proud of myself when I finished it. This full body day, I loved. It was great. It made me feel so good and so strong. The finale, really liked. Um, it was a good mix of like strength and cardio, I feel. The chest, shoulders, triceps day, I did really like. I think like as far as a push day, if I was ever at home and I was like, oh, I need to do a push day but I don't want to go to the gym I pull up that one it was a really good one I think I, I've done it before I'm pretty sure this was one of the ones that I had done before because pre-starting this program I was just kind of like working on the gym sometimes working out at home picking a random Caroline Gervin video if I was at home or if I didn't have a specific plan and so some of these I had already done because she was doing her epic endgame program during this time where I was like Mm, I, don't, I don't know, I don't want to walk all the way to school just go to the gym. It'll take like two hours to do that, so it's fine. Um, so anyways, because of that, I was so proud of myself after the EMOM hit day because in the past, I have had very bad gym anxiety. Um, and it has caused me to very much restrict the kind of workouts that I do because I wanted to be able to grab like one pair of dumbbells and then go into the corner where no one was and then just like do my workout and not see, hear, talk to anybody. Cause just like I would get really stressed out and I didn't really know what I was doing. And I felt like, you know, I, other people have probably experienced this where you're like, everyone's judging me, even though everyone's like way more worried about what they're doing. like, like what's going on in their own business and they ever care about what anyone else is doing in reality. I was that person. So I remember when I did Epic 3, um, the EMOM hit day, I got like 10 minutes into and I couldn't finish it. Not that I couldn't finish it, like I physically couldn't finish it. I mentally felt like I couldn't finish it. I wasn't enjoying it. I was really just like getting super anxious because I felt like everyone was staring at me because I was living in an apartment complex similar to this at the time. So I didn't want to do it in my apartment because of all the jumping um, and I didn't want to upset my lower neighbor. And it had like a little like fitnessy area. So I went to a time where I didn't think there would be many people and there was so many people. And I'm like, mm, this is all I wanted. Um, and I just I ended up walking out like 12 minutes in and I didn't finish that workout. I think I just exited out like, didn't do it and I, I forgave myself for not finishing obviously, but when I went to do an end games Imam hit day, that was kind of in the back of my mind of like, 
okay, last time I couldn't finish because I couldn't push through the discomfort. So my goal for this round was even if I have to skip sets because there's six like sets and then there were four different circuits, even if I have to skip a couple sets, I'm going to at least finish it. And that was like my goal. Um, and I ended up not having to skip any sets. I didn't, I can't, I physically cannot do all of the war like exercises. Like I can't do 20 lunges and 20 squats and something else in 60 seconds. Like I can't do a squat in less than a second. That's just my body right now. But so I like lessened the number of reps for a lot of the exercises. I would say probably like half the exercises, I cut the number of reps in half, but I didn't skip any sets. I had about 15 seconds of rest between each set and then there was the minutes built in and I was able to push through and I was so proud of myself when I did that. So that was a really rewarding day. I feel like overall, all of the hit days, I'm normally not the biggest fan of cardio and I really liked all of them. I think now that I'm feeling a little bit stronger and um i'm in like slightly better shape than i used to be i can really enjoy the hit days because i feel like i can do the full push 15 seconds rest give it whatever 100 percent i have left um and like get the most out of those workouts i think before i would get tired and then i would just kind of like taper off and then i just wouldn't feel like rewarded at the end of the workout if that makes sense um these worth good days i also liked this full body day if i remember correctly um the full body days are another thing that i really like i feel like those i walk out of the gym feeling very like fatigued but also like get a good hit of endorphins so, so i wanted to really quickly talk about the three main effects that i saw from doing this program first i feel like i have more um strength i feel like it takes me longer to get fatigued so that's really nice. Um, I, I That's kind of the point of working out. So I think that I successfully made it to where I can go like a minute of shoulder presses. Um, it's a very light weight. It's lighter than the weight that I was using last year, for example, or like last fall. But that like endurance is definitely building, I've noticed for myself. Um, the second is consistency. So um, at the end of every month, I color in the days that I worked out with a highlighter. So as you can see, May, I started it on the 23rd, which is that day right there. And May is really empty. April wasn't empty, but it was really sporadic. And then as soon as I started Endgame, um, I really took off. Um, I started working out much more consistently and it definitely built like I did miss some workouts here this was when I was moving out to Minneapolis so I didn't really work out and my weekends um, were really busy so I wasn't working out over the weekend and now things have gotten to a much more consistent basis it's not six workouts in a row and then don't work out for four days it's taking one to two rest days per week letting my body rest and getting exercise for a good number of days per month. So I think that this consistency is the main reason why I keep going back to hairline Bourbon workouts, just because there's something very special about being able to have something to go to every day and be, and like, when I don't have to plan my own workout, when I don't feel like working out, there's that, nope, like, you have a workout to do today. It's day 48 today. Gotta go. Like, let's go. So that's really, I think, the biggest benefit for me of doing the program as opposed to just like doing my own workouts and coming up with like a leg and upper body day split for myself. Um, the second is, as Caroline kind of talked about, especially this last week 10, um, is the mental kind of strength of like, you're gonna do a hundred burpees and not gonna lie I didn't always do a hundred or whatever it is sometimes I did 50 today I did 25 chest to floor burpees because I didn't want to injure myself and honestly burpees are one of the ways that I feel like 
as soon as I get fatigued, my risk of injury goes up and I have injured myself doing burpees before. So but like with the EMOM hit, with all of the hip workouts, with some of the more difficult leg days, like the Bulgarian lunge focused leg day, um, I've noticed that it's easier for me to be like, nope, we're doing it because I said so. So if you also struggle with that, with following through of like working out when you don't feel like working out or um, finishing a set when you're tired or thinking, God, I can't do a hundred pushups or whatever it is, um, I think that this would be an excellent opportunity to test it out. The main differences that I've noticed between this program and her previous programs, I think I've mentioned this before, but in case you missed it, are all of the workouts are 40 minutes or less and including like full body days and stuff like that. She used to have hour long full body days every, she puts it on Friday, but I usually have a Sunday start to my week. Um, my planner starts on a Sunday and that's just how I like making things work. So. Sometimes it used to be full body day Thursdays for me when I was doing her Epic One program. Um, so that decrease in time makes these workouts a little bit more flexible in my opinion, since I don't have to block off a full hour and a half for my workout to like get ready, do the workout, stretch, change. It's I can get everything done for these workouts in about an hour. Um, that makes it more flexible. I can do one, I can kind of do whatever workout um, I feel ready for that day. So if my legs are super duper sore, I can do an upper body day instead of the next leg day, if that makes sense. So that's something that's nice about this program. The 100 rep finisher, I think is really interesting. It's very challenging. Um, I remember I did one of these workouts with my roommate Cameron because she was like, oh, can I work out with you? And I was like, sure, but this is what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> I'm not, unfortunately, I'm on a schedule. I will not be changing what I'm doing to work out together, but you're welcome to join. And she was like, a hundred? Um, it was calf raises when you're in a like wall sit. And she was like, why? <laughs> and I'm like, well, you see, there's a point at about 60 calf raises where you're like, I can't do this. I'm done and you keep do 10 more and then you're at 70 and you're like well I only have 30 more and I've already done 70 and you do like 25 more and then you're like oh okay it's 95 there's just five more and then you do the five more and you're like holy crap I did 100 and then you feel really good and I think that's the way that I describe Caroline Gerber workout there's always a point where you're like can I do this or do I want to do this and then you do it anyways and then you feel really good afterwards that was why I went I did Heather Robertson's 12 week program when I first started like working out and I needed to like learn more about fitness and how to schedule workouts and things like that. The Heather Robertson's 12 week program, which I enjoyed. Um, it's definitely meant for a very specific group of people. I think like um, if you really love her workouts, you really love her workouts. Just like if you really love Caroline workouts, you really love Caroline workouts. Um, so it's just like personal preference. And then I switched to Caroline Gerben workouts. And in my head, I was like, I just did a 12 week program. I'm stronger than I've ever been. I got this. This isn't going to be a breeze. Um, no, it wasn't. I did the first day of her Epic One program just because I was like, oh, I'll just do another program because the last one worked well and I liked it. So I'll just do this one. Um, I couldn't walk. Like <laughs> her first leg day of that program, there were so many like pulses, half reps, holes, and I was dying. It was also, I think, a lunge, like calisthenics day, if I remember correctly, and lunges are, were not my strong suit, so. She, Caroline Gervin, has a way of making you question why you did the workout, and then at the end of the workout, you're like, that's why I did the workout. So if that sounds appealing to you, if you like the idea of really challenging yourself, then I would recommend this program or any of her other programs. Um, also, the other benefit to having just 30 to 40 minute workouts is if you are a little bit newer to working out and you don't have like two hours to spend, if it's only 40 minutes and you have to pause it a couple of times to like catch your breath, maybe get a glass of water, do things like that to like refresh yourself, you're not going to make the, you're not going to turn an hour workout into like an hour and a half workout, you're going to turn a 40 minute workout into an hour workout. and so. 
I think that flexibility helps me and it probably helps other people and that's why she does it this way. Um, the only downside that I see to these workouts is my wrists and elbows were getting really sore, like like starting to hurt a little bit from all of the push-ups and presses and things like that that we were doing. Um, I think that that's something that um, is just going to happen when you do 20 minutes of push-ups in a workout, like the push-ups in abs day, but um, train of thought, oh my god. But that is something that I noticed in myself, and it was making it harder to finish upper body day workouts because my wrists and my elbows were getting so like creaky like an old door it's not fun so i think for the next couple of weeks i want to kind of scale back on the upper body days just a little bit so that i can get my joints feeling a little bit better and then i can start building them up again i do already know what i want to do next so if you have enjoyed following me along, come back in two weeks time to see what I chose to do next and why. And without, and that is everything that I have for today's video. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I hope you are having an incredible day wherever you are. Thanks guys.